Let's say you own a mini flashlight on your keychain that accepts standard AAA batteries like my old Phoenix EO5 here, but want a higher power output of the newer generation ones that possess the integrated batteries like this Rovivone A7. Can we have the best of both worlds as in redundancy and high power? Yes we can, thanks to this Rovivone Angel Eye series, the E8. It literally has both because of its own 330mA lithium polymer integrated battery and a free slot that will accept any AAA battery. Thus each power source comes with its own output ratings. For example on the AAA battery you get up to 100 lumens while on the integrated cells up to 700. Furthermore depending on what specs you go for you get even more useful light functions like a reading side light, a red light which is highly useful for signaling at night and even a UV light. Packaging is excellent thanks to this branded box. With it you get plenty of accessories as in two keychain rings, a thick and slimmer one, then a pocket clip followed by a spare type C rubber cover. To load any AAA battery just flip this clamp and rotate the top assembly anti-clockwise. It's such a nice feeling, it's like loading ammunition. To charge it, just plug any Type-C cable and the blue light will flash until it turns green, which will signal 100%. Unfortunately, you can't charge a rechargeable AAA battery inside the flashlight. I think this is a missed opportunity for the perfect hybrid mantra. But who knows, maybe a future iteration. The outer body is made from transparent polycarbonate, which I personally love. As seen in many EDC torches, you can select what type of LED you can choose from these two luminous SST20 LEDs. Either a 6500 Kelvin cool light, like mine, or a warm white, which is 4000 Kelvin, but mind you, this is 200 lumens less than the cool white. The interface is quite easy thanks to these two side buttons. Both are multifunctional and there is a small learning curve, but everything will make sense after a few practices. For example, the first button controls which power source by pressing once to confirm the current one, which also activates the moonlight mode, which is half a lumen. Blue is for the integrated one, while the green is for the AAA battery. Pressing three times now on the same button will switch to the other power source. Then a single press will turn it off. While off, a long press will activate the max 700 lumens mode until you release the button. A double press while off will start to cycle into the higher power modes and it remembers the last mode you used before you close it. Thus this chart will explain everything including the run times and the trickle down timers. Low mode for the integrated is 10 lumens, medium is 100 and high is 700. While on the AAA battery we get 5 lumens for the low, 20 lumens for the high and 100 for the max mode respectively. Then a long button press will close the flashlight. Now the second button controls the side lights. A single press brings the reading light that has two modes, one is 0.3 lumens while the other is 60 lumens. From what I can tell the output is the same on either power source. Then a double press activates the red LEDs with multiple signaling modes. Then finally the triple press will activate the UV light which has quite a range to it. And let's finish things off with some night testing. Beam distance maxes out at 70 meters. It's of course IP6 protected since it started to rain. Thus this is 10 lumens, now 100, and finally max throttle at 700. Now let's see the AAA battery. Here's 5 lumens, 20, and 100. The body will glow in the dark as well, this time in green. Inside the kitchen with the exposure on manual, be careful since it's quite bright. Even the side lights are quite potent in this scenario. So yeah, I really like this double nature of this Rovivon Angel Eyes E8 because it offers the best of both worlds. At 50 bucks I think you can't go wrong here. It is still compact to be had comfortably on your keychain since it has the same footprint as your car keys for example. Realistically the only thing that's missing here is the ability to charge the AAA slot. 
maybe due to either safety concerns or maybe it requires a bigger body to accommodate it. Alas, I really enjoy using it and I will take it with me every time I cycle since I have a backup to the red signaling LEDs. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.